Warning, the following video has a lot of flashing lights, so if you're prone to seizures or anything else, just a heads up. Sony might be working on a comeback. A few weeks ago, I reviewed the Sony XB950N1, and I fell in love with them. They're now my go-to noise-canceling earphones. And back at CES 2017, Sony announced their new SRS XB40 wireless speaker. And since Sony is on the up and up, I thought I'd give the SRS XB40 a try. So let's see if this guy's worth the money. And please don't forget to hit that like button. So the Sony SRS XB40 currently come in three colorways over at Amazon. Black, blue, and red. Could the SRS XB40 get new colorways in the future? Maybe. Personally, I prefer the black version because it allows the speaker to disappear when it's not in use and I feel it enhances the light show feature. Comment below and let me know which colorway you like best. The Sony SRS XB40 currently retails for $248 over at Amazon and knowing Amazon, they'll put the speaker on sale from time to time. If you want to pick the speaker up, I'll have a link in the description below and I'll keep it updated so you can get the best deal possible. The Sony SRS XB40 is your wireless mid-side speaker that features a rechargeable battery, Sony's extra bass feature, it's water resistant and has built-in lights that flash according to your music. Inside the box you really only get the speaker itself, its charger and a whole bunch of documentation. The speaker itself has a tapered design and has soft touch plastic all around its body. It's actually quite nice to touch and hold. And for its size, it's not too heavy. This particular speaker isn't as dense as other speakers on the market right now. And when you place it on a table, you can either lay it flat or stand it on one of its sides. And it actually does a pretty good job of staying upright if you lightly tap it by accident. But just to be safe, I advise you lay it flat if you can. Concerning buttons and ports, the Sony SRS XB40 has your standard power button, volume up, volume down, an add button to chain other Sony speakers together, a play pause button, a phone button to accept calls with, and that extra bass button, all of which have great tactile feedback to them, which is very important. And there's an NFC touchpoint as well if you use Android. If you double press the play button, you'll skip a track, and if you triple press the play button, you go back a track. If you're using an iPhone and you press the phone button, you'll awaken Siri from his or her slumber. What's the weather like in New York City? Today, the temperature will range from 57 degrees to 75 degrees. And if you press and hold the phone button, the speaker will tell you its current battery state. About 70%. And if you press and hold the extra bass button, you can turn off the strobe lights as well. On the back of the speaker, you'll find an auxiliary port, a reset button, and a USB port so you can use the SRS XB40 as a power bank to charge your other devices. The Sony SRS XB40 is a bro. This speaker is using Bluetooth 4.2 and can connect up to three devices at the same time. And if you have an NFC enabled phone, then pairing is just much easier. But connection range is a little short at 50 feet compared to other devices I've reviewed. But this speaker has no problem connecting through multiple walls. Concerning battery life, the box advertises 24 hours, but I'm assuming that's at medium volume with the strobe lights turned off and with a wired connection. Cause I've only managed to get about a 15 hour battery life using Bluetooth at a higher volume and with the strobe lights turned on. Like I said earlier, you can pair other Sony speakers together to play music simultaneously, 10 to be exact. Or you can have two speakers paired together and have them create a stereo effect. Concerning sound quality, Sony did a good job of cleaning up the extra bass feature on the SRS XB40 like they did on their XB950N1. Side note, Sony needs to work on the name structure. First you need to understand, the Sony SRS XB40 is a bass focused speaker. It's going to perform its best when you play techno, EDM, R&B, rap, and hip hop. But for the most part, there's no raspiness, tinning, or any clashing anywhere on the volume spectrum of the speaker. With extra bass turned on, the overall sound does get a little shallow. But as you'd expect, the bass is accentuated. But with extra bass turned off, everything is brought forward. So you might want to toggle the extra bass feature on and off depending on which song you're listening to. Like songs that already have a lot of bass to them, don't need more bass. And like I said earlier, the speaker does have an aux jack on the back and as you'd expect, if you have a wired connection, the sound quality does improve. But the difference in sound quality between the wired connection and the wireless connection on the SRS XB40 is so small, it's hard to tell apart. Really, if you use a wired connection on the speaker, it's because you want to save battery life. 
And when it comes to streaming videos, the lag between the video and the audio is so small, there's hardly any syncing issues, if any. Cause other wireless speakers and headphones on the market do have a significant lag to them which will lead to words and lips not syncing, and in my opinion, reducing the overall experience. But in general, the Sony SRS XB40 does sound really good. I just wish it was a little louder. I feel that for its size, it should be able to pump out a little more noise, but perhaps Sony did that for sound quality. Although in general, I do really like this speaker, it still has its issues. The biggest issue this speaker has right now is Sony's mobile app. Sony insists that you use the SRS XB40 with their Music Center app and Fiestable app so you can do things like adjust the EQ, chain other speakers together, control your speaker from your phone, and play with the light show settings. But after trying and damn near pulling my hair out, I couldn't get either one of these apps to work. And it's no surprise, Sony's Music Center app has a 2 star rating with bad reviews from users and Fiestable isn't doing too well either. But luckily, you can still use the speaker without any issues if you can't connect to either app. Actually, while I was recording the videos for this review, both apps decided to work. Music Center allows you to control the speaker from your phone, play around with the EQ a little, and you can adjust the elimination settings. It technically works. Fiesta Ball, on the other hand, is a whole other disaster. You can do things like play sound bites, adjust lighting colors, and distort the audio and pretend to be an amateur DJ. Honestly, don't even bother downloading the apps. Save yourself as 100 megabytes of storage on your phone and take a few selfies of yourself listening to music on the SRS XB40 instead. Another quirk I want to point out is that when the speaker tells you the battery is low, it'll automatically set the volume to low as well. And if you try to raise the volume from your phone, the speaker won't get louder even if the phone says it's at max volume. So you're forced to go and turn off your speaker and turn it back on. Hopefully these quirks can be fixed through some firmware and app updates in the near future. But with all that being said, I like the speaker. The light show looks good, but personally I could have done without those strobe lights on either side. I just feel those are a little too harsh. But in general, the Sony SRS XB40 is a good mid-size bass focused speaker that will look great in your bedroom or living room, but it's still lightweight and small enough to take with you from time to time. It's IPX5 water resistant, which means a little water won't do it any harm. Just don't submerge it or else you're out $250. The real world battery life of 15 hours is plenty and you can use the speaker as a power bank to charge your phone. The strong and clear wireless connection the speaker offers is pretty impressive. Sony is pretty laser focused on capturing the bass head demographics with its products. And even with or without its app functionality, the speaker still performs well. But a part of me still wants to go and play around with the EQ to bring the best out of the speaker. But yeah, the Sony SRS XB40 is a pretty solid buy. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, it helps out more than you realize. For more product reviews and deal alerts, check out jimcaddy.net. If you want to support the channel, pick up a shirt. And I'll catch you next time.